you held a cookout for the 4th of July holiday or you're planning one for the weekend, you may have had some sticker shock at the supermarket, but in a good way. Yeah, a survey finds that food prices are slightly down compared to the same time last year. So according to the American Farm Bureau, it cost nearly $70 to feed 10 people, which is a 3% decrease from last year. But compared to 2021, it's still 14% higher. So how do you make the most out of summer meals without overspending? Uh, that's where chef and culinary stylish Ashton Keefe <laughs> comes in. Thank you and welcome to the show. Thanks for having me guys. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. What's your first tip? So my first tip is because we can always make it more affordable is to think like a chef. So I want you to plan a summer menu of staples that you want to be known for. So create a menu just like a restaurant would, and then you can really go to the box stores and bulk up on everything that you need, and you're not running around having to buy a bunch of different ingredients. It's all ready to go. All right, and, and to that point, we can save by finding multiple uses of the same ingredient. Do you have any suggestions on what some of those ingredients are that you can use for so many different uh, recipes? Of course. So if you can use different ingredients, and in, I mean the same ingredient in different varieties and different ways, then you can really maximize your budget. And so what I like to say is herbs go a long way. People buy herbs and then all of a sudden they just sit in the fridge and you don't know what to do with them. Uh, I also really like saying fruits, stone fruits, berries. They all work really well because you can use them in salads and appetizers in desserts. And so we have two recipes that we're going to share with you guys. We're going to do a hanger steak with chimichurri. So you're going to get to use all of those herbs that you have left in the fridge and then a strawberry and um, cherry mm. crostata. So a nice little oh. spin on a dessert. Okay, so we know that some uh, products, especially like extra virgin olive oil, vanilla extract, they could be really pricey. So how do you know when you should splurge on something versus going for the cheaper version? So I always want to tell you to go for the version that's going to make you the happiest. But what I will say, here are my two <laughs> tips. That's the first thing. But um, since you're speaking about steak, everybody wants to throw like a big filet mignon or a ribeye on the grill. And while I love those, there are so many fabulous cuts of steak that you do not need to do that. So, for instance, we're using hanger steak um, in our chimichurri recipe. In our chimichurri recipe, you can also use strip steak. You can use um, sirloin. Um, you can use London broil. Lots of good steak options. The second thing that I tell people to save on is wine, because during the summer, people are you know jumping from beer to wine. They're <laughs> hydrating with water. They're not really worried about like it being the nicest bottle of wine. Um, so we have a Josh Sellers wine mm. here. I also love this because it's got a screw top. So if you're at the barbecue or you're pulling it out of a cooler, you're at a picnic, it's really easy. This is $15. You can get it anywhere in the country. And I also love it because you can make a spritz with it, which is also a money-saving tip because you use soda water and ice, and you can kind of get a lot more wine um, for your buck. So uh, box wine is okay. Yeah, yeah. it sure is. <laughs> and if you're, is okay. It's being a good guess if you bring a bottle of wine right. also, right? Okay. <laughs> Ashton, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> and to see more of Ashton's meal ideas for your summer, visit her website or follow her on Instagram at Ashton Keefe.